Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace, download, and upload your worlds on your AWS Minecraft server. Let's jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the AWS console, just kind of like we did last time, uh, and then you're going to want to sign in. So once you get signed in, you're going to want to go to EC2. I have it in my recently visited services, but you can search it up in the top here. Once you've clicked that, you're going to want to go to your instances. And once you're here, you can see all your instances. Mine is currently running, but if you don't have yours running, you're going to want to start it. To start it, just click this checkbox, go to instance state, and then start instance. In my case, it's grayed out because I'm already running. Next, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to CMD or the command prompt and open that up. First, what we're gonna do is teach you how to download your server world file from your server onto your local computer so you can play it in your local Minecraft uh, without having to be on the server. So you will have needed to watch my last tutorial on how to SSH and SCP into the server and copy files. Um, but if you did watch that, then you'll know that you need a Minecraft server PEM key and that's how we log into the server. So if you haven't watched that, I encourage you to go watch it because I'm not gonna go over how it works in this one. So first what we need to do is we need to change our directory into where your server key PEM file is. So if you followed my last tutorial, it should either be on your desktop or in your downloads folder. Um, but if it's not there, you can find it just by looking for it in your file browser um, like this and search through. You can see that mine is right here on my desktop. So to access that, I'm going to need to change directory or CD onto my desktop. So to do that, we're gonna do CD desktop. Now you can see that it says my directory is on the desktop. To make sure that my server file is here, I can say DIR and you'll see that my Minecraft server.pem key is here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to download the file from our server or our world file, but to do that we need to zip it first. So that means we have to log into the server. So go ahead and do ssh-i and then that pem file should autocomplete if you tab. Um, and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do the user, which again I explained in my last video, and then you're going to need that public IPv4 DNS address. So we can go over here and hit control C to copy. Next, you're going to paste it right there. You should be able to hit enter. If it asks you yes or no, go ahead and type yes, that's fine, and then you'll be on your server. I'm going to type clear just to clear it. So if you followed my last tutorial, you should have a directory or folder called server or Minecraft server or something like that. I created a new folder called server backups. To create a folder, you just do mkdir, which is make directory, because a folder is a directory and then you can do server backups. I already did that, so I'm not gonna hit enter, but that's how you would do that. Now to access our world file, it's in our server directory. So to do that, we need to change directory into server, and then you can hit ls to list all the items in that directory. So if we hit ls, you'll notice that right here, here's our world file. Now the world file is actually a directory and that's why we need to zip it up. So to zip up the directory, we're gonna type SIP or ZIP, uh, which is zip, obviously. You're going to want to zip recursively because it's a directory and recursive means it can keep going down throughout the directory. So if there's more and more directories deep, it'll just zip everything inside into one condensed uh, zipped folder. Then something that's interesting with zipping on Linux, because this is a Linux server, is that you actually put your output, your destination output before you put the input. So it's a little bit backwards, um, but we're gonna put our destination first. So you'll notice earlier I was changing directory, I was using CD to do that. You use kind of the same thing in here, except you don't use change directory. Something to note um, before we continue actually, if I type dot dot slash, dot dot means go back a directory. So if I do that, oops, cd dot dot, you'll notice that we are now outside of server. But if I cd back into server, you'll notice we're inside of server. So we want to zip recursively 
outside of this directory and then to our uh, server backups directory that we created earlier. This isn't mandatory, but I just help it. I find it helps keep everything organized. Then you're going to want to name your output um, zipped file. I like to call it uh, backup and then I do a dash and the date. So it's 2221. Now we need to show, tell it what we're zipping. So we have it zipping and the output of where it's going to put that zipped folder, but we don't know what we're zipping yet. And that's easy, we're just gonna type world because that's where the folder is, we're in the same spot, we're in the same directory as world, so we don't need to change anything there. If you hit enter, it should start the zipping process. Okay, now that it's done, we can make sure it works by backing out again like we did last time. You actually don't need to do that slash at the end, you can just do a dot dot. And then we'll hit ls, make sure we're in the right spot. Yep, we are, so we wanna change directory into our server backups folder to see if it actually worked. ls again. And there it is, backup 2-2-21.zip. So now that we've done that, you're actually gonna to want to go ahead and open another command prompt window. And in here, you're gonna to wanna to go to where your pem file is again. So for me, it was on the desktop. Um, and this time we're gonna do SCP, which is the using the same port as SSH, and it's all the same process. It's just for copying files rather than remotely accessing the computer. So SCP-I, our Minecraft server, PEM file, uh, you're gonna wanna do EC2 user, and then I think if I still have it, it doesn't look like I still have it copied, but you'll go over here, copy that, and paste it here. Now that we've done all of that, you're gonna wanna put a colon here, and this is signifying that we're transferring a file. So then we put the directory, um, and this is the directory we're pulling the file from, so the server, so this is the input, the file that we're taking. And that would be you know, uh, in the home folder because if we look back in here, if I do cd dot dot and then change directory dot dot again, you'll notice that even above the directory that we start in is the home directory. And if I ls in here, you actually have to cd into the ec2 user as well. So all we're doing is we're going into home, then ec2 user as you saw earlier, and then in our server backups is where we put that server file. And then finally, you're gonna to want to actually grab the file. So we named it backup dash uh, two dash two dash 21.zip. So we're not quite done yet. You need to do the output. Where are we putting this uh, zipped folder? So the output, if you wanna do the directory that you're in, for example, my desktop, which I would like to do, you just do dot slash and that's your current directory. So if we hit enter, it should start the transfer process and you can watch uh, the process here and the percentage that it goes at. Okay, looks like it's completed. So now how do we check that it all worked? Well, you can just go directly onto your desktop and you can see there it is, backup-2-2-21.zip. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now how do you use this on your local machine? How do I boot up Minecraft and then view this world? Well, it's pretty simple. What you need to do is you need to hit Windows key and R for run and then you're gonna type percent app data percent slash dot Minecraft. And that's gonna take you directly to where your Minecraft folder is. So if we open that, you'll actually see that we're inside our Minecraft folder and you can see that we actually have, uh, let's see if we can find it here, saves. So saves is where all our worlds are stored. So if you open this, you'll see all your local worlds that you've been playing on. So if, you, if you've created worlds on your computer, they'll all show up in here. So in order to use this file that we downloaded, we first need to unzip it. And yours might look a little different than mine. I'm using WinRAR, but you should just be able to unzip with normal windows. Um, so we can just extract files, hit OK. Then you'll notice we have this folder. You can open the folder and you'll find your world. I would recommend renaming it. So I'm just gonna rename it my server world, oops. And then you can simply just drag it right into here. Now that you've done that, you can boot up Minecraft and you can actually see it. So as an example, we'll start our Minecraft launcher and hop into Minecraft so that you can see that it's there. Okay, now that we've booted up Minecraft, let's hop into single player. And you'll notice there it is. It's called world right here, but you can see that it's my server world. So if I click on this, it 
should be able to see what I've been doing on my server, which probably isn't much. And there you go. This is the world that I had on my server. And it works directly on my local computer. So if I don't want to play on the server and I just want to have a LAN party with my friends if they're over or if I just want to work on it on my own without hosting it on AWS, uh, you can just download it like that. So next what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to replace your server world with a local world. So let's say you've built this really cool world on your computer and you want to upload it to the server so that you and all your friends can play on it. That's super easy to do. We just do the opposite of what we just did. So you remember we click Windows key and R to run, or to open run, and then that's where we can see our Minecraft directory. So if you hit OK, you can hop into your saves. Now, you can pick any of these to upload. Um, I am just gonna upload my server world because that's what I did last time. So to upload your folder, you're going to need to first zip it. Um, and Windows should have the op option, excuse me, to zip, um, I believe in here, you can type, you can just click zip under share and it's just going to take a second. Okay, once you've zipped it, it's gonna ask you to name it. We're just gonna call this test upload world. And then what I like to do to make things easy is I like to drag this to my desktop. So what you can do is you can hit Control X to cut and then go to your desktop and paste it here. So now it's on my desktop and I'm gonna delete this one because we don't need that anymore. So now I want to upload this file to my server. The first thing I actually need to do is to hop onto my server and change directory into the server folder that we created in the last tutorial ls into there and make sure you're in the right directory. Now what we need to do is we actually need to delete our world file so that we can use this one on the server. So to do that we're going to do sudo uh, which gives you admin privileges. So to delete something you do rm which is just remove and then because we're deleting an entire directory right our world file or our world in Minecraft is actually a directory or a folder it means there's a lot of directories and different files inside of it. So you can't just delete the top level of world, you actually have to delete it recursively. So rm-r for recursive and then f I believe to force. And then after that you just type the directory or folder you want to delete. So if we hit enter, it's super fast, it's already done. If you hit ls again, you'll notice that this world is not here. So that means that we have deleted it, which means that our server no longer has a world. Something to note about that real fast, if you were to start your server right now, it would actually generate a whole new world for you. So let's say you wanted a blank world. If I were to go ahead and do server start, which I'm not going to right now, uh, but it would actually just generate a whole brand new world. So if you wanted to start from a clean slate, you could do that. So it's a very similar process. You're just gonna do scp-i, and then you're going to do your Minecraft server pem key. After that, you're gonna do, uh, this is where it's a little bit different. You're actually going to upload your file first. So we're gonna say our test upload world.zip, then same old stuff, your user, and then your public IPv4 DNS address. So we'll right click to paste that in. And then you need to do the output directory. So we want this to go inside our server directory. So we're gonna do the same thing that we saw earlier and then into our server. So go ahead and hit enter. You'll notice that it starts the upload process. Looks like it's completed. So now we can actually check on our server so if I do ls again, you'll notice that there it is, test upload world.zip. So that means that it successfully uploaded. So now what we need to do is we need to unzip it. Unzip is different than zip to where you don't actually need to do a output directory first. You can just unzip your test upload file.zip and it will unzip it right there. So if we ls again, you'll notice that we have a new my server world, which is exactly what we want. And we can now sudo rm to remove our zip file because it just clutters it up. Now, if we look at my server world, the server may not recognize that because it's not just named world. Uh, so if I 
ls into my, or whoops, not ls, my bad, cd into my server world. We just want to make sure that everything's there. It looks like it is. So let's change directory back out of it. We actually want to rename this directory. So to do that, you do mv, which is actually move, because um, you can move directories. So, but we're also just renaming it. So we're going to rename my server world to world. Now, if I ls again, you'll notice that world is in there and there is no my server world. And now, if you start the server, you'll have your world ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful and that you were able to follow along. I got a lot of great feedback on my last video, which uh, has helped me make this video, and I have lots more in the pipeline to come out to help with Minecraft server worlds and other stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. It'll help me uh, to be able to gauge whether I'm making good videos. And if there's a certain thing, tutorial, you want to see to help you with your Minecraft server, please let me know. I'd be happy to reach out and help out with that or create a video for it. So. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one.